Welcome to the Smart Business Show, episode 134 for September 15th. Uh, look at that. I actually, you know, looked ahead and figured out what we were doing. Today we're gonna we're gonna start with a quote from a book called Multipliers, uh, and the quote is: "When the rescuer intervenes, he can create a vexing and all too pervasive performance disconnect by depriving people of the feedback that comes from the natural consequences of mistakes. While the manager sees failure and a gap, they have to step in and close. Employees often see success." So this is book multipliers is about how to be an awesome leader, I guess, how to have an awesome team below you. And um, this quote specifically is talking about like when an employee doesn't perform well and you like jump in as a manager and and fit, save the day. And the employee is like, sweet, we got it. And the manager is like, no, but I had to step in. That's not my job. And so we need to let people fail. We need to let them face the consequences of it and see it uh, up front, right? Um, we need to do this too with our kids. This is not just just for um, jobs. It's for our kids. I think we need to. I think we're we North Americans, Canadians, Americans, whatever, are like extra not good at this. Um, I think that we way too often jump in and rescue our kids, and you know we don't want to make sure that they don't get maimed. But having some failure is is good for them. Having some failure is awesome for resilience. It's um, and that's what we want: resilience, grit, long term, where they really. Um, I don't know, can self-soothe, they can take care of themselves, and, and they don't need us to do that all the time. I think years ago now, my, my oldest is six, but probably when she was, I don't know, two, three, and she was in swimming lessons, and old enough that I didn't have to get in the pool with her, but she was in the hot tub by herself at that point. I was standing right behind it, and she was standing on the bench, and like every week we had said, like, stop jumping on the edge, stop goofing around on the bench, because you cannot reach the bottom of the hot tub. And she didn't listen and didn't listen and didn't listen. So that day, there was no one else in there. It was me and her. I took my phone out of my pocket, which is in its waterproof case anyways. And I was wearing sandals and you know, a nice pair of quick dry shorts and everything. And I put my phone and my key, my car key was the really thing I was worried about because everything else I had on was waterproof or would dry quickly. And I let her play and she dropped in. And I let her bob twice and I pulled her out. And so, inst- so I guess I did rescue her, but I only rescued her once she had faced a consequence. I didn't, you know, stand, stand there and be like, stop, lean back, don't. And she'd get mad at me and be like, no, lean back. And after that, she was like, you know, the kid back to the wall against the, the uh, hot tub to make sure she didn't fall in. So we stopped having the problem. She didn't stay like that. You know, she, she got used to it again. She got confident again. But I let her fail, right? When she asked me to do something, a lot of times I always, my response is, do you think you can, Right? She'll, I'm going to go climb to the top of this playground, Dad. Can I do it? Like, yeah, if you think you can, go for it. And uh, numerous times she's been stuck, and uh, she'll be like, help me down. And I always say, no, no, you got up there. You can get down. I might point out how she could get down nicely or point to a foot place where she can put her foot or something like that. But I don't. You know, I don't just run up there and, like, carry her down. Um, we need to do that all around. We need to do that with people that are working for us. We need to let them fail, and we need to let them see the consequences of that. So that means we also need to align their incentives with the consequences of that. And we need to do it with our kids. If we want to have resilient kids, kids are going to be awesome. Kids aren't going to load with us till they're like 34 and in the basement with you know Cheetos on their beards or you know whatever. Then we need to build kids that are resilient. We need to let them fail, and we need to help them work through that failure. Thanks for watching.